Pokemon just released this, the Heavy Hitters Premium Collection Box. It has 14 booster packs on the inside, and it's only available at one store. This thing only costs $39.98 for 14 booster packs and loads of other goodies. Usually booster packs go for, you know, $4 each. 14 times four, I believe is $56. And you're getting all of this stuff for just $39. But of course, I got something for y'all, a BGS 9.5 Sabrina's Gengar card. Look at those subcategories. It even has a 10 for one of the subcategories. Going to one of y'all, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know if you think this heavy hitters box is worth the $39 price. Let's take a look at what's on the inside of this thing. First off, we have what looks like, we got Evolving Skies Pack, a Fusion Strike Pack. We got more Fusion Strike Packs. We got some Brilliant Stars Packs and loads of plastic at this thing. These are some good packs to get. And then it looks like we got some Astral Radiance Packs, but wait, there's more. Here is the code for the entire box. You get an ultra rare Lucario V card. Very nice. I will also tell y'all where the store actually is as I show you the very first coin yet that you get. It's a heavy hitters box. There's more than one coin, of course. There's an Alolan Ninetales, I believe, for one of the coins. Completely random coins, but you know, as we get a Tyranitar, and then I'm guessing the final coin, because I didn't really look at these, is a Lucario. So there's the coins. And then there are the promo cards that come with it. There's the Tyranitar V promo card. Guessing there's the Lucario one. Weird how they have the big card being this one, but not a Tyranitar one. I would prefer the Tyranitar one, but I know Lucario is a one of the top rated most popular Pokemon. There's Kamehameha Lucario, and then it looks like a Tyranitar holographic for that. As we're getting into the first set, Evolving Skies, very popular set, the place where you can get this is Sam's Club. Yes, you heard that right, as I'll go a bit faster through some of these. Sam's Club is where you can get this box for $39.98. So if you do, as we get into some Fusion Strike as well, I got lots of random packs as well to open up. Some may be the Voltage, Lost Origin as well, but of course, stay tuned because it'll just be random packs like Evolving Skies and more. We got lots of cards to pull, but Sam's Club had these. Now, I actually ordered these online at samsclub.com. I knew these were coming out as we get into some brilliant stars. So I knew this box was coming out. However, they didn't place it out at on the release date was supposed to be September 1st. As we get a lovely Charizard V for our first pull, but yeah, the, the September 1st date when they were supposed to come out, they didn't, it took over a week for them to finally release this set um, or this box, which is only at Sam's Club, nowhere else. I was only able to find it online. I don't think it's in stores, but don't quote me on it. I would actually, as we get a Star Me holographic, I would actually call in to your Sam's Club if you do have a membership to it and see if they do have this heavy hitters, the Shauna of the Dead, this heavy hitters box. I mean, it's an absolutely great deal. Cause like I said, booster packs at retail go for over $4 per pack. And you're getting all of this random packs for just $39.98, of course, plus tax as well as we get in some astral radiance. Uh, so I think it's a great deal, but you can let me know if you uh, ditto or concur, ditto, haha, <laughs> if you concur, with my opinion. But like I said, I uh, got this box just by going to their website and it was delivered to me as we get a Heatran V. So that was very, very convenient because usually I just randomly myself take time to going to a bunch of Sam's Clubs that are just all over my Metroplex and stuff. Uh, but it was nice to finally be able to just order the product and it came really, really fast as well. We have a Moltres holographic. So you, you are probably also seeing, as we got a lot of packs to get into, here's some Lost Origin. Um, 
yeah, I updated this area of my studio. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this is not my usual recording area. This is gonna be a special recording area. As look at that, a Bonnet Trainer Gallery card and then a Machamp Holographic. Very nice pack, more brilliant stars. Uh, this is gonna be a special multiple person or a bigger item recording area. I also usually won't open up packs this fast. Uh, just for right now, with only one camera, and as we get into some Vivid Voltage, I know, Vivid Voltage, guys, I still have not pulled the Pikachu V, the one with the pink and purple background, and I have not pulled the Hyper Rare Leon My Card. Really need to pull those cards. But hopefully I've been in focus and not like, you're seeing the monsters in the background, one that's kind of glistening in the light as well, as we get a, wait, a Shaman Holographic. All right. Um, that being said, the traditional card opening area is on the other side of my studio, and I will be introducing that hopefully this week. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully later this week, I will be introducing finally the traditional card recording area. Now this area will also be some sort of card recording area as we get an Aerodactyl. Very nice, want the alt art of course, Porygon. Um, but it's, I just can't wait to show you all the studio and all the fun things that I got going on with it. Uh, of course, as we got a Charizard, very nice. The, uh, this area is not done. So don't let the tables and the monsters fool you. Like, oh, that's it, that's the area. No, it's not even close to being done. Well, I guess it kind of is. Drapion V, very nice full art. And then what else we got, Palito. But uh, it's not, it's, it's not, it's gonna look even better than this. With more decorations and more soundproofing is gonna be coming as well too. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, let's get into some more evolving skies. I still have not pulled the Umbreon reaching. Oh, I, was, I just did a dab, oh gosh. It was not a dab, it was reaching for the moon, okay? Guys, stop complaining. But in any case, thank y'all so, 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 so much for being here. Uh, this week, I got some pretty incredible videos coming at you. So don't forget to do one of the most important things. Yes, I have this, the Sabrina's Gengar that I pulled myself actually at Pokemon World Championships. Look at that swirl, by the way. I didn't even show you that swirl. Going to one of y'all. I mean, I'm really excited about that, going to one of y'all. Go, hopefully going to a good home, but subscribe, leave a like. But hit that notification bell as well. Wait, oh, Colossal VMAX. All right, but uh, yeah, definitely hit the notification bell to let you know when I do post a new video. I only post videos usually just three days a week as we get a Kiram holographic. So usually just three days a week and they're supposed to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays, Thursdays at 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern, 11 Pacific, 12 for you Mountaineers, and Saturdays at 11 a.m. Central time. We got something, we have an, what is that? Uh, Adaman, holographic, and a, a cleaver, reverse rare, not bad. Let's go with Vivid Voltage. So, uh, lots of stuff to come, fun, fun, fun videos this week. We got something, guys. Oh gosh, I thought that was potentially a hyper rare Leon. Alistair is still a very great card, one of the top cards in the set. So not bad getting a hyper rare in a vivid voltage pack. Let's continue with Astral Radiance though. But so we got some fun videos coming this week and I really don't want y'all to miss it. And just overall, of course, I also have to talk about the reception to uh, Rare Candy. Y'all uh, came out in droves and joined the Discord that I, I mean, I, I clearly mentioned it, but y'all go to rarecandy.com uh, to check out the Discord, to check out just what Rare Candy is, which is a community of like-minded, passionate fans. And y'all can still go to rarecandy.com if you have no idea what I'm talking about. As we get a Dedenne Character Trainer Gallery card. Not too bad, but just lots of fun projects and fun things going, uh, not just with Rare Candy, but of course, the new studio reveal, uh, really excited about things to come with that. And just overall, uh, as we get a cute little Pikachu, just overall, the amount of things to come. I'm extremely excited. I keep on, I, I cut myself on my thumb, by the way, 
the other day, you probably saw the video where I was wearing the Band-Aid and worried. It started bleeding during the actual opening itself. I was very, very worried. I would get blood all over the cars and then the video would get restricted, but it did not, thankfully. But in any case, as we did get a Hyper Rare pool earlier today, this is a Brilliant Stars pack. A guard shop is the reverse, but in any case, I'm just excited for things to come here on the channel. And of course, I can't do any of this without, you know, y'all watching and hopefully enjoying the videos because that's what it's about. We got the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Look at that, really colorful card. I mean, obviously their hair is colorful, but it's just a really cool looking card, full art trainer. I have pulled that one before, so that's why I'm not going like, as crazy about that specific card. But let's get into this Brilliant Stars pack and see what we can do as we get a Luminion V. Was that? Wait, that was Brilliant Stars. All right, yeah, we got another Brilliant Stars pack right here. So let's see what we can do as we continue on opening up a random assortment of packs. There's an Infernate. Now there was an Infernate box that did come out this week. However, I, did not open that up in the channel. I probably won't. Uh, it's just some boxes. I don't get to all the boxes. I just get to the more of these like super special deal boxes, which there's been so many special deals like Costco, uh, Sam's even has more. Wait, look at that, Flapple, trainer gallery card. Very nice. Uh, but there's so many, and I've done all those videos. They're basically all called the same, like Pokemon just released type of videos. So definitely go uh, check those out as we get a very nice Radiant Greninja. Getting into some Lost Origin packs. Let's see what we can do in the newest Pokemon set as we get a lovely first pack, because this is a separate set of packs, a Giratina V-Star. Now the top two cards from Lost Origin are Giratina, of course, alt art, and an Aerodactyl alt art as well. I think as of right now, and the prices will probably come down, the Giratina alt art was, as all my cards are falling right now, the Giratina alt art was going over for over like $200, and the Aerodactyl was around 100. And then you have the uh, third most valuable card, which is a Rotom alt art, which was around like $50-ish at the time of myself recording this video. And those are the top cards, but there was lots and lots of cool artworks in artwork, excuse me, in Lost Origin. And then of course you have the upcoming set coming out, I believe in November, Silver Tempest, as we get a Bennett and Phantom of the Opera. That set, I think is gonna be more popular than, because it may have a Lugia alt art in the Japanese set, which we will probably find out. Paradigm Trigger, which I'll be opening up on the channel, but I did open up uh, Incandescent Arcana. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Uh, recently, this past week, if you wanted to get a little sneak peek at Silver Tempest, because a lot of those cards are likely gonna be in that set. All right, so we started off very nice with the Giratina V-Star, but I'm really, really hoping to get Studio Ghibli Mask over there. Uh, I'm really hoping to get another pretty big pull from these Lost Origin packs, but you saw what was in the heavy hitter box. I'm, you know, it is a great deal. So we got a creepy Galarian Perserker. And there is that. You always got to watch out for trainer gallery cards, especially the golden ones, the golden Mew, golden Pikachu. Whoa, I just got way too fast into this pack. I probably should slow down a bit, but uh, we just got, you know, I'm really excited about getting into these Lost Origin packs, but here we go, here we go. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Mr. Mime, and this. But in any case, thank y'all so much again for checking out uh, the Rare Candy website. That is a place to actually purchase items since we're gonna get a dark ride. Uh, different purchase items, whether they're new modern packs uh, or vintage packs. What's great about it is, you know, everything is checked to make sure that you're actually getting legit vintage packs. So if you're looking for a safe place to get vintage packs, definitely check out rarecandy.com. We have a Hisuian Zoroark and a Mimikyu. Just about a few more packs left of some Lost Origin packs, but really trying to get some more heavy hitters from the newest set as we get a Pidgeot V. Very cool looking card. I just feel like I've pulled it fairly often recently. In any case, let's go into the next pack. 
You never know when you can get a trainer gallery card, but we did hit some nice cards earlier on. Did hit the Giratina V-Star as well. So we get a Porygon. Just a few more packs, but the Heavy Hitters box out at Sam's Club should go pretty fast. Don't forget this Sabrina's Gengar going to one of y'all. Subscribe, leave a like, and let me know if you think the Heavy Hitters box from Sam's Club is a good deal at $39. We got something, guys. Hey, it's Pidgeot V again. That's a beautiful full art. First time pulling that one, so I will take that one. And then, Stone Jenner, we have another couple packs. Can we get a little second to last pack magic? Nope, got a Nuzleaf challenge once again. Thank y'all so, so, so much for watching this video and got a few to fly. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.